Hi, this is Karen Greenhouse, and what I'm going to show you today is a side-by-side -side comparison of the Casio FX9860 graphing calculator compared to the TI84 Plus graphing calculator to show you that the Casio calculator is an easier um, calculator to use, especially for students. We're going to do a, I'm using the emulators for both so that you can see the keystrokes that it takes to get to the same steps for each calculator. So I'm going to start with the Casio calculator and as you can see looking at both the Casio has a menu and so we're going to choose we're going to graph two functions so I'm going to arrow down to the graph menu hit execute and it takes me to my y equals so I'm going to type in my two functions that I'm going to use so we're going to try to find the intersection of parabola and a line so our parabola we're going to enter as an x squared and let's do minus 3 that's our first equation so I'm going to hit execute and I'm going to go to my second equation and let's do a linear function here so 2x plus 1 and hit execute again so I am ready to go and now I'm going to hit graph so if you look up here on the Casio that's my draw menu which is function 6 so I'm going to hit the F6 button and I see my two graphs. Let's go over to the TI-84 and do the exact same process and get to the same type of graph. So there is no menu option here. So in the TI-84, I can hit the Y equals as long as I know that that's where I need to go to um, create my functions. So I hit Y equals. I'm going to do the same thing. You'll notice it's almost virtually identical to how we enter it. We're going to um, hit the X and then the X squared button. We're going to subtract 3. And instead of execute, I use enter on the TI. So we're going to hit enter. And so now I'm down at my second function, which again is going to be 2x plus 1. And I'm going to hit enter again. And now you'll notice graph. It says graph up here. And I choose graph. And I'm going to see basically the same graph that I see over here on the Casio. So those two processes for both calculators were virtually identical. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 steps for the Casio. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, well, 12. 12 steps. So one more step on the Casio because of the menu options. Now we're ready to actually find a um, function. No, I'm sorry, find the intersections of the two functions. So now we're going to go to the next step. So let's go back to the Casio. And what I want to do is solve something for the function. So you'll see that that's yellow here. So on the Casio, I'm going to hit the Shift button. And again, I can see that I'm going to solve and hit the F5 button. And that gives me some choices. So what is it you want to solve for? That's what the calculator is asking me. And I want to find the intersection. So I'm going to, again, since this is right above the F5 key, I'm going to hit that, and I immediately get one intersection. And notice in the Casio, I see the intersection. It's giving me the X and the Y coordinates of that intersection. It is also showing the equations of each graph, the parabola and the linear equation. So this is, boom, I'm right at the intersection with the Casio by following those steps. Let's go to the um, TI calculator sort of starts with the same. I need to make a calculation, which is this function above the trace button. So I'm going to hit second on the TI, which in the Casio is a shift. Second, calculate. I get a list. So I'm going to go down to five. I can do it a couple ways. I can arrow down or I can just hit five. So we're just going to hit five. And now the Casio, I'm sorry, the TI asks me some questions. Are Which two functions do you want to find the intersection of. And so it tells me, do you want this first one? So I want to say, yes, that's good. So I'm going to hit enter. And it says, is this second equation here your second function, second curve? I'm going to say yes. And then it asks, asks me for a guess, because if you look at this situation, I actually have two possible intersections. So the TI calculator is asking me to kind of get close to which one, because depending on whether I go to the left or the right, it's going to give me one or the other first. So let's go to the left since on the Casio that's the one that was given first. So I'm just going to use my arrow keys and get kind of close, doesn't have to be perfect, but kind of on top of where I think the intersection is. And then I'm going to hit enter. And now I have the intersection. Notice it matches the intersection over here on the Casio. In the TI I do not see the equations of the 
functions anymore. They are, they're not there anymore. They're not on the TI. So now I have one intersection. Both of them um, give me the same answer. So we know that that's working. I only had to do, let's look at how many steps we had to do for, um, I had one, two, three, four steps in the Casio and in the TI I had six. So not, not that much different. Now let's go find the other intersection. On the Casio, it is a one step thing. I want to basically toggle between the two. So all I have to do is hit this arrow here on the right and it immediately goes to the second intersection and gives me the, those coordinates and still keeps the equations of the um, functions up there for me. How would I do that? How would I get to the second um, intersection on the TI? I have to go through the same process that I went through before. I have to go to the second calc to get my options. I have to choose five for the intersection. I'm going to enter, yes, I want my first cur curve to be that first function. Yes, that's my second function. And now I have to, again, make sure I move my trace close to the second intersection that I'm looking for. Oops, I went a little past, and I think that's okay. And now I'm going to hit Enter. And there, again, is the second intersection. But you'll notice that took me quite a few steps. It took me one step in the Casio to to go there and it took me lots of steps in because I had to hit that arrow several times to kind of get close to my second intersection point and I had to go through the whole process again and what's missing in the TI is the functions I can't see them I could go back to y equals and see them and now go back to my graph but notice my intersections are gone now in the Casio I can actually toggle back and forth between the two intersections and my function equations stay up there the whole time. So this was just a quick demonstration. You'll see that it's a lot less work and it's a lot easier to kind of see the equations, the, the intersections and make some, some conjectures because they're all right there on the screen and they don't disappear, whereas on the TI calculator they do disappear. So just one quick example of how the Casio is easier and shows you a little bit more information than the TI-84.